So hey, I'm Lauri. I'm the co-founder and CEO at Prompter AI. So most of you probably agree that most meetings are terrible. They take up a lot of time, and nothing interesting happens, and they're very unproductive, mainly because no one has done their homework or any preparation whatsoever. And I think this is especially important in sales, where being well prepared can really mean the difference between winning or clo uh, losing a deal or just keeping the customer happy. But being well prepared is also a lot of work. Uh, when you search for information, you search from uh, Google, LinkedIn, Slack, email, CRM, Dropbox, and the list goes on. The information is scattered all around the internet and all those internal tools you're using. At Prompter AI, we automate the meeting preparation work for salespeople. Using AI, we combine data from both the internal tools and the public internet into a perfect briefing package with everything you need to know when going to a customer meeting. This means, for example, LinkedIn profiles for new prospects, uh, new product features you could be upselling, related Slack discussions from Slack, or, for example, uh, what were the playbooks that were used to win similar customers earlier. You win more deals and keep the existing customers happy. Well, this makes sense, but why isn't everyone doing this? Most of the competitors we found start from the assumption that people are using just one tool, that one tool does everything for them. Uh, the CRM vendors, of course, want to lock you in, and the other tools are geared towards helping you do da data entry into the CRM, somehow gamifying or otherwise. We let users to use any tools they want, and we just integrate into those and pull data into the briefing package. It's super easy to get started, uh, no team-wide adoption or heavy integrations required, just one click, and the next morning you'll wake up with a briefing package in your email. We're three founders. We all met when we were working at a previous startup called Smartly. Uh, we were er early team members, helped to grow the company from 10 to 150 people in just three years. Nico is a data scientist. He enjoys automating people's work away. Juha was running and managing the sales tools and integrations, and I'm a software engineer turned into a sales guy. We've been now working on this for three months. Uh, the product is up and running, and the feedback from early adopters has been really positive. So if you think something like this would be helpful for you, go to prompter.ai, sign up, and give it a try. Thank you. Thank you, Lauri. And let's move on to the questions. Thank you, Lauri. I'm sorry, I didn't get it. Were you a sales tool or a meeting tool? A sales tool. So if you're a salesperson, before going to a meeting, you check what you need to know in that meeting. So who are the people joining in? Uh, let's say there's a new, new person joining to the meeting, so you get everything about them and so on. So, but, but aren't these current CRM solutions doing that already? Uh, excuse me? Are these current CRM solutions already doing that? Technically, they are to, doing some of this stuff. But in addition to the LinkedIn profiles, we also tap into other internal tools you might be using, like Slack, Dropbox, and so on, and pull in the data from those. And also, most of the salespeople, even though technically the process might be so that you always enter everything into CRM, that's not really how reality works, but you have stuff all over the place. Right. How accurate is your briefing package? It's fairly accurate. Uh, right now, we include those LinkedIn profiles, uh, previous emails, and a lot of, generally a lot of stuff from your email. But it's not really that much. That is accurate. But what we're also working on is just adding more content to it. Because a lot of it is dependent on how accurately you put in the information in the first place, right? And if sometimes during the process, you have to self-correct and... Yeah, uh, so that's, that's true. But then again, usually you still have the information somewhere accurately. Let's say you sent an email to a customer. That is accurate, hopefully. But then the notes you uploaded to, the, to your boss uh, might not be accurate. But that, that's exactly the point. So we pull in the stuff from the email you sent to a customer. So it's actually accurate. Okay. 
But I, I, I'm still wondering, I mean, you said that the CRM could basically do it, but people don't fill the CRM information. How much information does uh, the sales guy need to, need to enter into your system uh, so that the, your system can prepare that meeting? And why would the sales guy want to do that? That's exactly the point. So we don't require them to do any additional work. They already sent the email to the customer or talk about the case in Slack. And we just pull the data from those sources. So because we know that no one wants to use any extra tools or add right stuff to additional tools. So we don't require that we use exist things you already do. I still wonder what is your target group of customers because you know the big ones they would like to really use one tool and they require that and they are measuring themselves through that tool. That this sounds like a like a bug fix or like a due income fix for a, for a problem in a company. So definitely it's not a tool for every salespeople, but if you're doing uh, inside sales or more consultative sales, uh, then most likely you will need information from, let's say, kind of more, more technical information. Or let's say the slide, slide decks the marketing department produces, they update every now and then. It's like, it's like the, you know, if you're like the president, you get like a small a plastic card from your assistant before you meet someone. This is it, this person, this is what you spoke about last time, this is LinkedIn, blah, blah, blah. I think it's it, great. Exactly. We've been thinking about also faxing you these briefing packages. Perfect. <laughs> Love it. Great stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.